As you would expect, security for today's event was extremely tight. Many didn't even find out the location until just hours before. 13 Your Sides, Nathan Lee is now live in Kalamazoo in Portage as well with part of our team coverage. Nathan, this is the first campaign stop by either party since the attempted assassination of former President Trump. What are you hearing from people attending today's event? Well, Elena, a lot of the people I spoke with today said that they were excited to the chance of meeting their vice president. But in all my conversations, one word kept popping up, safety. Just like you said, Elena, this being the first major campaign event from either party since the assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump, it was clear the team today didn't want to leave anything up to chance. Now, today's event here at the Air Zoo in Portage was not open to the public. It was an invite-only event. We saw police officers checking cars as they entered. Some told me they reach, were reached out to by the campaign, and others said they wrote in asking to attend. We saw heavy police presence from the way, all the way from local officials, excuse me, all the way up to those federal levels, monitoring the event from what local and county police called a command center across the street. And of course, Secret Service agents conducted a sweep of the building for multiple hours before the vice president even left Washington. I spoke with several attending the rally today who say that this is the amount of security that has to happen these days, saying it's disappointing that we have to worry about violence at these events, but it's better safe than sorry. What happened last Saturday, I can see like why this might be a uh, change in policy just because of security and everything else. So yes, it was strange because I've not had to deal with that before, but no, in the, like I understood why it was done. Harris's motorcade left at around 3 p.m. She's headed back to D.C. before she travels to North Carolina for her campaign event tomorrow. In Portage, Nathan Lee, 13 on your side.